کہ رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اللہ علیہ وسلم سے ایز ایٹ دا ٹائم اف افطار اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی ہی نیور ریجیکٹس یور دعا ہی نیور اینڈ وات وی ار ڈوئنگ وی میکنگ پکوڑے وی ورکنگ سموسے وی رننگ اراؤنڈ یو گو اینڈ گیٹ دہی فار می یو گو ڈو دس اینڈ یو ڈو دا ڈو ایوری تھنگ 10 منٹس بیفور افطار اینڈ ناؤ سٹ ڈاؤن اسٹارٹ میکنگ دعا ٹو اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی وائی یو ار میکنگ دعا ٹو اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی دس از دا ٹائم یو سٹارٹ میکنگ دعا اور دیر تھری کنڈیشنز فار دعا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سے ایز Either Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you immediately whatever you ask for. Second, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will get rid of his some other problems. Like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not give him exactly what he asked for, but he will give instead of that something else. Because that was not good for him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you immediately whatever you ask for. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you that maybe something you ask for and you love to have that. car oh i want to marry this girl i want to have to this house allah says but that is sure for you they may be comes in your life it burns all the happiness of your life your family burns your family ruins your and destroys your life wa asan takrau shay and maybe something what you don't like which i'm going to give you maybe something you don't like the car you ask about i'm going to give you a small car the girl you ask about i'm going to give you some other girl the house you ask about, i'm going to give you some small house but that house you don't like wa huwa khair lakum maybe that is khair Khair comes in your life and fills your life with happiness. The girls come in your life and fills your, hap- your life with happiness. The car comes, the house comes, whatever comes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wallahu ya alamu, leave this job upon me because I am Allah, not you. Wa antum la ta'alamu, you don't know about the ilmul ghaib, what is coming around the corner. So there are three ways of acceptance of dua. First, Allah will give you immediately what you ask for. Second, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you something instead of that, but something else. Now you look in your life. How many things you got in your life without asking from Allah Subhanahu wa Iman Musliman right Allah Subhanahu wa Quran all these things you never asked from Allah Subhanahu wa Allah gave you good parents and all these things third he will reserve that dua with him and he will give you ajr of that on the day of judgment and Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says when the same person is going to die and going to go to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala he is going to stand there he will see a big massive bundle of rewards right next to there is his scale he will say ya Allah i never done that many ibadat Where all these rewards come from? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. I know you never done that many badas. You remember you used to make these duas desperately. I was keeping that dua with me because it was not good for you. That's why I was not giving it to you. So I was keeping that dua. I was keeping that dua with me, and there is the reward for you. Now you take that and go in Jannah. That time Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said the person would wish that whatever dua I've made in dunya, I wish not even a one dua Allah Subhanahu wa Taala had accepted, and it would have given me ajar here. in the form of reward and i would have gone more higher ranks in the jannah